Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share my experience at a cute little boutique hotel in Desert Hot Springs called Azure Palm. So pretty much this hotel opened last year and I went to it last year, but this year they um, added something new to it called the Oasis. So I was like, I really need to go back. And so I visited it again this year. So I thought I'd make this informational video about my experience, what I think about it and just kind of describe it and give you guys a little review just in case you're interested in visiting this hotel as well. And just to kind of entertain you guys a bit. Okay, first let me talk about like the design, the aesthetic, and the rooms. So the design is kind of like a mid-century modern. I really like it. I think it's very like hipster, cute, um, chic. Um, I think they're kind of catering to a younger crowd, but it is an 18 and up uh, resort, so not too young. Maybe like zillennials and millennials, you know? And just to give you some background information on mineral water, just in case some of you don't are not aware about it. So basically hot mineral spring water is naturally derived from like the geysers and um, Azure Palms mineral water emerges from the ground at 174 degrees, rich with healing, restorative minerals. The hotter the water, the greater concentration of minerals. And Azure Palms mineral water wells are the hottest in the region. That's what it says on their website. Um, and in case you didn't know, mineral water is amazing. It is rich with certain minerals that are vital to the body, including calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, lithium, and these minerals are absorbed into your body while you're bathing into the water. And it honestly is a very relaxing experience and your skin also feels super soft when you get out or just while you're in there. So basically the aesthetic is really cute. I'll put some photos into the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. And as far as the rooms, there's a couple different kinds. One room that's called a spa suite, which I stayed in last time and they have the first or the second floor of it, which basically means it's, it's like a slightly larger room, but it has an in-house mineral water tub with the mineral water flowing into it. So you can enjoy the mineral water without having to like be in public and outside. So it's in your bedroom. So that was kind of nice. But I will say um, it's not a must. Like you don't have to get this. Like the second time around, like this year when we went, we just went and got one of the um, second story regular rooms with the balcony. And honestly, that was great because if you have the spa suite, it kind of makes you stay inside and I feel like even if you open the window inside the room it can get kind of stuffy like when you have the when you're in the tub and it's just not that much of a vibe you know what I mean like it is it just depends on what kind of trip you want obviously it's a very like rejuvenation relaxation type of place um but I personally don't like to be cooped up in my like room all like vacation so i prefer getting just like a normal room because then you have no choice but to go outside and i personally like being in like hot water and having like the cool wind kind of like blow on me and as opposed to like being inside and being in hot water so personal preference so pretty much they have a large swimming pool and then they have two uh jacuzzis mineral jacuzzis outside and then they have an indoor kind of like outdoor indoor style covered area which has two more uh, jacuzzis and there's a sauna in there as well and then inside they have a himalayan salt room uh, which you have access to if you have a room there and they also now have an ice room they didn't have the ice room last year but um, it's super cool you can go into the himalayan salt room and like salt is really good for you it helps like detox um, impurities in your body and it's just great um, and the ice room is great as well because you kind of go from hot to cold and it kind of like shocks your body. So it's like really good for like lymphatic drainage and a couple of other things. So just super beneficial for wellness and all sorts of things. Well, now, the reason why I visited it again this year. So obviously I went um, just for like a rejuvenation relaxation trip. But I really like the fact that the ice room had opened. 
I thought that was like really cool and I wanted to experience it, experience it. But the main thing is they opened the Oasis. So what the Oasis is, so the hotel has their like outdoor area where they have the pool, the jacuzzis, and then that like indoor outdoor place with the jacuzzis and the sauna. But they also have this um, attached land, plot of land in front of their property where they created like outdoor um, tubs made of concrete. So it, it really feels like you're in nature as, as, as opposed to the other ones. It kind of feels like a regular hotel with just mineral water as far as like the aesthetics of it and like the stereotypical like jacuzzi hot tub look but this one has like concrete um tubs and then like i believe it's a uh, copper like copper like plumbing and like it just it looks like the spout like the faucet is i think copper and it's like really cool and they have it set up where it kind of goes like it's like high and then a little lower, a little low. so you like you have more privacy and they have a bunch of plants and um, desert plants kind of planted there for privacy and I mean right now they're kind of short because they just planted it but I can imagine when they grow it's going to be such a cool vibe and I thought that was awesome. They also have an outdoor sauna there that unfortunately wasn't open yet when I went but that's gonna be really cool. And right outside of that outdoor sauna, they have a um, a bucket shower. You know, the ones where like the bucket fills with water and then you pull the rope and then like the cold water just like splashes on you. That was actually really cool. The Oasis does close at sunset. So depending on the season, the closing time would depend on when the sun sets. Um, it's really beautiful during sunset, but sometimes you kind of wish that you can stay after sunset because you want to kind of stay there while the weather is like cooler and at night and it's like more of a vibe. I'm not sure why they close at sunset. It could be that it's kind of darker there and it might be for liability reasons. I'm not sure. I didn't, I, I forgot to ask, but I was going to. Hmm, kind of sucked. However, the other area, so the more like, stereotypical standard like pool and like the outdoor jacuzzis, that is um, open 24 hours, I believe. So that was really cool because that means that you can, you know, like, you know how a lot of hotels, they close at like 10 or nine, like they close the, or, or like eight, then they close like the pool area. And it's like, come on, like, what am I gonna do? Like one of the best parts about going to a place with a pool or like a heated pool or jacuzzi is to go in it at night where like the weather's cold, like it's cool and then you're in the hot water, like that's a vibe. So I hate when hotels like close at like 9 and 10 and it's like there's nothing else to do but eat. So I really like how that's open 24 hours. Um, and the salt room I believe closes at midnight though. Um, there's like a sign in sheet and you can put your name down, however it's not you know, like regulated like that. It's just more on a like honor system. But I guess like if you have a name down and you see that it's open, you can kind of just like walk in and go in because I mean, no one's using it, right? Overall, the staff is really nice too. They're very accommodating. There's a lot of like cute areas where you can grab food and chill at. There's like an upper deck right off of the lobby where there's like tables and then there's um like like couches where they have like a fire pit. And you can like sit there at night or like whenever you want and just kind of chill there, eat, talk. It's like really cool. I believe they have like this little like grass area like to the side of the hotel. It's like a small little like area that you can go and like ground at if you want to. Um, and every hotel room comes with robes. So that's really cool. You can just like throw that on to your bathing suit and just walk around like the hotel like that. And what else, what else, what else? The lobby's really cute. Oh, they have a, ca a cafe. So I think it's called the Azure Palm Cafe, which is really nice because they have like, you know, good stuff and it's right on the property. So you don't have to like, if you're in your swimsuit, you don't have to kind of change and then go get food from somewhere else. And I don't know about you guys, but like in hot springs, there's not that many food options, like if you're more like health conscious, there's a lot of like fast food places. Um, there's good Mexican food though. The cafe is really cute. They have a fresh squeezed, um, not squeezed, cold press? Yeah, cold press, I don't even know. It's just like, <laughs> I forgot. 
Well, I think they do have fresh squeezed orange juice, but they also have fresh juices that are bottled, bottled up, I think day of or something like that, which is like really nice because it's very refreshing. They don't have the biggest selection for um, food, but I mean, it's it's fine. The breakfast sandwich was okay. I, I mean, okay, honestly, the food was good, but I don't know why I thought the food was better the first time I went than the second time around. It kind of seemed like they were making some changes with the um, kind of like the like the staff or or like maybe like the person who handles the inventory. So maybe they made some changes. I'm not sure, but I feel like there was a change in like the personnel that were like that was like running the cafe or I don't know, something like that. But I'm not sure. Inside the cafe is really cute too. It's a very aesthetically pleasing. It's really cute. The food, um, oh, the food, they have like flatbreads, they have burgers, um, but I, but they close kind of early on some days. Like I think it was Wednesday and they closed at four. So we had to go out and like find something to eat. But I believe on Thursdays, Fridays, don't quote me on this, you have to go on the website, but I believe like later in the week, they close at a later time. Like I think it was like seven or eight. So that's kind of convenient. I would definitely go back. What they also have is so, if you do not want to go and like rent a room there, but you still want to use the amenities they have, they also, they're also a day spa. So you can go and get a, a day spa pass and they have like a nice locker room with like changing rooms, showers, hair dryers, all of that. So you can maybe stay at another hotel or maybe stay in like India or Palm Springs or something like that and just come use the amenities for the day and then go do something else for the rest of your trip. So I thought that was nice. And they also have an on-site, um, what is it called? A spa? No. Like massages? Yeah, spa. Yeah, spa. Yes, yes, it's called a spa. So they have like body treatments, massages. Sorry about that. I don't know why, I had a brain fart. So they have massages, body treatments, and facials. Um, I do know that they also uh, host retreats there. I don't know about the details on that, so you'd have to check the website. Overall, it's a really great place, and I think the prices are pretty fair, considering what it is, and it's new, so I really like that, and I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any questions, or if you've been there, and if you want to share your thoughts on that. Um, I would love to hear about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was entertaining, yet also informative. Um, Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. P.S. I forgot to mention, but this is the only hotel that has a Himalayan salt room in Palm Springs. And I forgot to mention that because that was one of the reasons why I picked this hotel to begin with because there are similar ones who have mineral spring uh, waters and you know, the hot tubs and all that, but they don't all have a Himalayan salt room. So be sure to check it out.